Zer's on the Winding Cove on the EDZ. He's currently selling the Future War Cult armor. Not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of this armor. I mean, like, there is definitely pieces you should pick up, but I do think the best pieces from this is just gonna be the Nessus armor, because if you guys don't know, this is basically the Nessus armor uh, with just Future War Cult insignias thrown in there. I will say the the exception is the helmet for the hunters. I think the helmet for the hunters is really cool. Other than that, I would just say pick up the Nessus stuff uh, from Nessus just because it's available and it shaders a little bit better than this because the future war cult insignias don't change color while the pieces from Nessus actually do change color aside from the chest pieces for all of the classes. The yellow wiring does not change color. The orange wiring on the hood for the hunters don't doesn't change color. And I think that's it. If I'm not too sure, just because from the top of my head, those are the ones that I really know from the back of my hand because I've tried to make it work and it just looks terrible. That being said, the chess pieces can be made uh, really in really cool sets. You just have to like mix and match them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the armor. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for the weapons, true prophecy with overflow and pay over an explosive payload. <clears throat> This, I think, would be a good PvE weapon, just because overflow is going to be really nice. Especially, you're going to be getting, what, 22 in the magazine once you pick up special or heavy, which is pretty cool. And then explosive payload is just always good. I mean, to be fair, I probably would pick this up in PvP just because 22 rounds... You know what? Yeah, I'm picking this up. Just because 22 rounds in the magazine in PvP would be fucking foul. Uh, we have Farewell with Subsistence and Vorpal Weapon, which... On the one hand, I find do I find interesting just because subsistence, uh, you're going to be getting a lot of kills with this because uh, it's a gun, obviously. But uh, with uh, Vorpal Weapon, you're going to be doing more damage against uh, enemies, specifically bosses, vehicles and guardians with their super active. Mm, if this was like something else, like maybe Rampage, I think this would have been a dub. Uh, we have extra Extraordinary Rendition with Surplus and Tap to Trigger. I'm just going to ignore that. Timelines Vertex with Left From Gold and Disruption Break. This could be a good PvE weapon. Just because I'm a big fan of Left From Gold. It's like one of my favorite perks in a, in a special weapon. Just because uh, you're, you're going to be picking up uh, this a lot. Not a uh, special... Oh, you're going to be picking up special ammo a lot from heavy from heavy ammo. And you're, o like, you're always going to be picking up. So you're just getting more ammo for, for no reason. Which is why I like it a lot. Um, not only that, Disruption Break's pretty nice, um, from what I've heard. We have Without Remorse with Hip Fire Grip and Fragile Focus. This is a Red Border weapon, so if you are interested to get this, you can definitely get it. My only gripe is, I think Without Remorse is probably one of the worst craftable weapons in the game for me, personally. I mean, like, not really literal, because there are other worse ones, but, like, I'm a big fan of lightweight weapons, so... When I saw Lightweight Frame, I got really excited, but the perk selection is just really, really terrible. At this point, you might as well use another shotgun that is also a solar and lightweight weapon, which is the uh, CQC shotgun, which we'll look at it in a bit. We have Sail Spy, Pitch Glass, which with uh, Compulsive Reloader and Frenzy. This also is a Red Border weapon if you want to pick it up. And then Night Watch with Resistance and multi decode Clip. If this was Rampage, I think this would have been an easy dub. Just because uh, subsistence will get in the way of multi kill clip most of the time, but it's not terrible. I can I definitely have seen worse. And for the exotics, we have Hawk Moon with hit fire grip, Dead Man's Tail with subsistence, which I actually would advise subsistence. That's a really good role for that. And Lord of Wolves, <sighs> this used to be really broken. Man. Uh, Lucky Pants with Jesus Christ, a natural twenty nine. You could get a forty on this, bro. Once master worked, and if you put it, put the resilience another 10, it'd be a 41, which is kind of gross. We have stronghold with pretty terrible rolls and Verity's brow with also really terrible rolls. rolls. Again, if you don't have any of these, definitely pick them up because it's always better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Let's see what exotic I get. Mechaneer's trick sleeve, huh? 28 naturally oh my god okay um oh it's because uh yeah all right i kind of fuck with it mm. if i masterwork this is gonna be a natural 30 which is already fucking gross um so i could just bump it up to a 40 mm. not bad not bad at all so yeah let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up i would definitely recommend some of this armor for the nessus version just because that's a way better but if you do want to pick this up might never know you might 
find some cool things with it. My only issue is just uh, the fact that the future war cult insignia is just so massive on it that I just really can in good conscience tell you to pick it up. But if you just want to have all of the collections filled out, my, I would say, yeah, uh, just be aware it's 250 each. So it'd be 750 uh, legendary shards for all of it which is super expensive for some mid armor, but there it is. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I have been pretty busy with this game right here. I've been playing um, this game almost religiously just because it's so cool. And that's why I haven't been uh, posting as much as I have, just because again, I've been pretty busy with this game. I'm already in Baldur's Gate, which yeah, I should tell you like just how much I've been playing this game. And yeah, I love it a lot. Uh, I have been thinking about making content on it, but it's really hard to make content on it because I just, um, just because I don't cover games like that, at least not in this channel. Maybe on my second channel, I'll probably do it, make a new playthrough and we can play through there because I do have a second channel where I just play different games. I haven't posted in a while just because uh, I've been, <laughs> I've been playing that game and I've been also doing other things in the background because if you guys don't know, I started doing shorts for destiny 2 uh, which is just fashion related so definitely check those out i appreciate you guys i know this is long-winded but i wanted to explain why the content hasn't been coming out as fast as it should be so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys other than that be safe i'll see you guys later